Hello, Instagram. Hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. What's happening, everybody? So it is uh, Wednesday. It is Wednesday, January 8th. Is that right? January 8th. January 8th. It was Wednesday, January 8th, 2020. And I wanted to um, just run down a list of everything that's available right now in the Hudson Valley that I, as a chef, have access to, that a lot of consumers have access to, that a lot of restaurants have access to right now. A lot of us think that January, December, December, January, February are months where there's not not, not any produce around, um, but there is a lot of stuff around. And I just want to read down a list really quick here of one of our vendors of all local things. We buy from two, we buy from three vendors that, that provide us a lot of local items. Two of them are really progressive and only do local or regional. Regional meaning New Jersey, uh, Massachusetts, um, Cape Cod for cranberries for the fall, um, sea salt for Maine, things like that. So one is regional, a lot of focus on a lot, lots of focus on local, and the other one is all local. So I'm going to read you a list of the regional stuff right now. So when you go to a restaurant that says they love to support local and they don't have anything on the winter in the menu, uh, in the, they don't have anything on the menu in the winter time. They're just not looking in the right place, so they don't want to spend the money for some of this stuff because this stuff is this stuff is a is can be a lot more money, especially in the off season. Look, there's no reason to pay more in the middle of the summer when zucchinis in season and tomatoes in season and corns in season and things like that. Things that we have abundance of is is actually a, a better price than buying it from a vendor, but shipping it in from Iowa or or Florida or something. It's a way better price. So, um, if you're interested. Uh, in what's available right now this week in the Hudson Valley, in the greater Hudson Valley. Stay tuned because I'm going to read right down the list and I'm going to tell you what I bought this week that's been local. Um, so starting with produce. And if you're tuning in live, folks, um, if you're tuning in live, just drop a comment, hashtag live, hashtag uh, replay if it's on the replay. And again, it's what's in season right now in the Hudson Valley. I'm going to go down a list of everything that's available that you can buy right now, that any restaurant can buy right now. So when a restaurant tells you that it's out of, that they're farm to table and it's out of season, um, they could be doing a lot better job. So here we go. So, um, of course, lots of apple, apple cider around, tons of apple cider. Apples. These are the apples from one distributor, all local that's available this week. From Mead, uh, from Yonder, uh, there's Fuji, Crimson, Cameo, Cameo, Macintosh, Matsu, Chris, Matsu Crispin, Ruby Frost, Senshu, Snapdragon, Suncrips, Wine Sap, Cortland, Empires, Honey. There's even more and more. There's another 10 or 12. There's even local pears right now. Are, uh, you can get Bosch pears. Uh, from yonder farms. Um, when it comes to vegetables, beets, tons of beets, cabbage, several different farms have cabbage. Um, we got cabbage from Hepworth this week. We have got green cabbage and red cabbage from Hepworth. Um, that's coming in actually tomorrow. Uh, we ordered that. Uh, carrots, we have carrots coming in. We ordered carrots from, from uh, Dagley Farms, D-A-G-E-L-E -E in the black dirt. They also do m tomatoes this time of the year. I didn't see it on the list this week and I asked if they had any, they did not have any. Um, so carrots, uh, rainbow, uh, rainbow carrots, regular carrots, celery act from Hepworth, um, garlic, from Dagley Farms, Jerusalem artichokes from Dagley and from Hepworth, kohlrabi from Hepworth, Hepworth, onions, lots and lots of onions from Cipollini, all kinds of red onions, boiler onions, white onions, jumbo onions, um, Hepworth has organic onions, parsnips, uh, parsnips, 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 uh, about a dozen different types of potatoes this week, um, radishes, uh, three different types of radishes, rutabaga, uh, from Dagley and Hepworth, shallots, uh, egg corn squash, butternut squash, butternut squash peeled and diced, that's um, Altobelli Farms, sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes, more sweet potatoes, three different sweet potatoes, fresh turmeric, turnips, uh, three different types of turnips, uh, moving into the mushroom section, creminis, oysters, portobellos, shiitakes, regular button mushrooms, white mushrooms, uh, in the salad green section, baby arugula, um, uh, baby the arugula, lettuce, um, baby lettuce. Uh, so, um, there's a bunch of things here. So, uh, baby spinach mix, uh, kale, lacinito kale, curly kale, um, herbs, basil, cilantro, dill, mint, 
um, radical farms and rock hedge farms, oregano, parsley, rosemary, sage, tarragon, thyme, available on the frozen side of things, frozen sliced apples from meat orchards, blueberries, uh, blue, frozen blueberries from New Jersey, butternut squash, butternut squash, cranberries, frozen cranberries, frozen kale, frozen peaches, frozen strawberries, summer squash and zucchini diced frozen um, sweet corn. You can actually buy a 40, um, a 44 pounder, is it 44 pounds? Oh, I'm sorry, 24 pounder of local frozen corn. Um, local frozen corn for 45 bucks, a 24 pounder. Shelf stable, shelf stable stuff. There's hot sauces. We buy local, um, all the time we buy local sriracha. There's tomato sauce, pizza sauce. There's tomatoes, bag in a box tomatoes uh, from Winter Sun Farms, um, from some other farms that are bag in a box, five gallon tomatoes that you can literally use for tomato sauce, pizza sauce, um, pepitas, salt, like I said, salt from the main sea salt company. You can get oil and vinegar. Uh, we buy a lot of local sunflower oil. Um, that comes from, not from this distributor, from the farm itself. Uh, apple cider vinegar uh, from Dwight Miller Orchards is out. We buy that. We have two gallons of that coming this week. Pumpkin seed oil, uh, Stony Brook, uh, Stony Brook Wholehearted Foods. Uh, maple syrup, tons of maple syrup available, lots of honey available. Charcuterie. Now, uh, this list here has... Uh, venison sausage, and this is from Highland Farms, wild boar summer sausage. We there's on the other list. I know there's Carl Family Farms has all their sausages available. Jacuterie, we bought a couple of jacuterie items this week that came in today from another farm hub. So again, folks, I'm just going right down a list right now of all the stuff that's in season right now, the second week in January, 2020. So if a restaurant tells you that it's not the right time to buy local stuff. They're wrong. You can buy local stuff year round. I'm just reading a list of one vendor that we buy from on a consistent basis. Um, and I'm just going, going down the produce list right now. Uh, Hawthorne Valley, you can buy tons of different sauerkrauts, turmeric sauerkraut, jalapeno sauerkraut, ruby sauerkraut, caraway sauerkraut, plain sauerkraut, ginger carrots, kimchi, all from um, Hawthorne Valley. They come in five gallon pails, gallon pails, uh, 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 six smaller jars. Um, water is considered local from Saratoga, Saratoga Sparkling Waters. So if a restaurant says they're farm to table and they're serving Pellegrino, they could be doing a lot better job in supporting a closer local water source. Pellegrino, by the way, folks, Aquapana, is owned by Nestle. Um, the president of Nestle came out a few years ago and basically said that, you know, that um, water rights are, you know, something that they own and that they don't feel, you know, that basically they don't care about where they take water from, how much they take, and so forth. Um, so... Flowers and grains, rye berries, rye berries from farmer ground flour, spelt berries, whole wheat berries, cornmeal, uh, all-purpose flour, bread flour, whole wheat flour, buckwheat flour, pastry flour, rye flour, spelt flour, whole wheat flour, rolled oats. We use a local rolled oats um, and um, polenta, so ground polenta, um, wild hive has, farmer ground has, dried beans. Here's a lot of things that uh, people don't think beans, a lot of beans. Yellow eye beans, uh, soldier beans, pinto beans, kidney beans, Jacob's cattle beans, cranberry beans, black beans, and we also buy a white, um, a local white bean as well. Um, that's on the other list. These are Genesee, Genesee Valley, these and Green Thumb. All those beans come from there. Pastas, pastas, Kasaki, New York, uh, Spolafini. Uh, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, Cavatelli, Fuseli, Rigatoni, small shells or spaghetti, a whole grain pastas, uh, radatories and rigatelli. Um, einkorn, which is the original wheat. Einkorn is a very uh, ancient varietal. Uh, that's available. Cuttlefish, ink, uh, spaghetti, saffron, um, porcini, trumpet, pastas. So if um, there's another thing, cheeses. Now, when it comes to cheeses in the Hudson Valley, it's insane how much cheese and dairy we have. Um, Egg Corn Hill Dairy, Chevra, Greek Feta, uh, Fudge Ricotta, Argyle Farms, Cheese Curds, Chasem Farms, um, really cool stuff. Their Gruyere, their uh, Charousse, which I bought, uh, their Camembert, which we buy all the time, their Farmer's Cheese, Nimbus, uh, their Tome, their Stella Vallis Tome, Cricket Farm, uh, just over the border of Massachusetts, Berkshire Bloom, a Feta, a Maggie's Round, Hawthorne Valley. Uh, so they have a Fernhill spreadable cheese. They have cork, which you can make cheesecake out of. They have ricotta, Miracle Springs Farm, and Ancram, Camembert, 
Uh, they also have a cheese called Single Rock, McGrath, which is Fresco and Rascal, Old Chatham Creamery, Camembert's Ooze Blue, Ooze Blue um, the Kinderhook Creek. When it comes to dairy, um, all from Argyle, Hawthorne, and Ronnie Brook. You have buttermilk, creme fraiche, half and half, heavy cream, 1%, 2%, fat-free milk, chocolate milk, sour cream, sour cream from Hudson Valley Fresh, yogurt from Hudson Valley Fresh, Argyle, Eggcorn Hill, Hawthorne. Um, there's goat yogurt, regular yogurt, butter, butter and eggs, um, flavored butters from Ronnie Brook, uh, Ronnie Brook unsalted, salted butters, all kinds of eggs, of course. We have our own chickens now, so we get a lot of fresh eggs. Plus, we also buy buy eggs in because we, we don't man, we don't have enough yet. Um, all 26 hens will be laying full, full force by the spring. That's just the produce and perishable stuff on that list, folks. And again, I'm, I'm just going through a list here and telling you what's available this week. It's a Hudson Valley from Hudson Valley Farms. Uh, pork, uh, lots and lots of pork out there, bacon. Um, skinless belly, skin on bellies, pork butt, pork shoulder, country style ribs, um, uh, ground pork, half pig, um, hearts, jowls, kidney, liver, loins, loins boneless, loins bone in, neck bones, picnic shoulder bone in, picnic shoulder boneless, porchetta, um, pork chops bone in, pork chops boneless, pork cutlets, pork shoulder, pork osabuco, sausage from uh, bratwurst, breakfast, chorizo, hot and sweet, all this stuff is local, folks. Um, spare ribs, uh, tenderloin, tongues, trotters, whole pigs, fresh beef. Again, the whole gamut of fresh beef. Hudson Valley, between both the lists that we look at, there is tons and tons and tons and tons of beef. Um, it's amazing. Uh, I mean, just a whole, there's a whole page I'm just looking at right now of all the beef that's available. Um, lamb, chicken, all different types of chicken. Um, this this place here, what I'm looking at, has three uses three chicken farms alone, three local uh, chicken farms alone. Turkey, uh, turkeys around, uh, rabbit, pheasant, uh, rabbit, pheasant, quail, rabbit, pheasant, quail on the game side. Now this is just one vendor that I just listed off all of their stuff. This is plenty for a restaurant to choose from. There's a lot of good things there. On the other side of the other company we use, uh, Farms Two Table, Farms Two Table, we got a bunch of stuff in from them today. Our ground beef came from them. Um, uh, mushrooms came from them from Bulick Farms up near Saugerties. Um, we have more mushrooms coming in tomorrow uh, from Hudson Valley Harvest that are local as well. We have those King Trumpet mushrooms. So, folks, there are tons and tons and tons of things. We got local ice cream today from Ronnie Brook. So when a, when a restaurant or somebody tells you that there's not quite stuff around in the month of January, they just haven't looked hard enough or they haven't, they're not willing committed to pay the price. Some of the stuff does indeed cost more, but it's well worth it. It's local. We believe in it. There is local trout available. There is local steelhead now available. Two, two separate farms are doing steelhead in Hudson Valley. Um, I spoke to the one the other day to find out about what they're doing. They're up um, north near Tivoli. Um, if we looked at farms to table and went through all the stuff that they had available, they would have a lot more cheeses available. They even have, of course, all the wines and, and beverages, all the wines and, and spirits that are, that are available locally are on that list. Really a cool list. So folks eat local, um, ask for it when you go out to restaurants, thank the restaurant. If there's a restaurant that's supporting local, tell them, thank you very much for supporting local. It means a lot to, to us, to the, to the community. Um, encourage restaurants to keep using more. And sometimes restaurants will, I spoke to a meat distributor uh, yesterday. I spoke to a meat distributor I'm friends with, and he goes, Marcus, um, we were talking about doing a, the, the food show in the city and stuff. We were seeing if he was going, I was going, we we're trying to network and do some stuff at a food show. And he goes, yeah, there's a restaurant by us. Um, we don't sell to them, um, but they're basically their whole menu. It says local grass fed prime on their menu. He goes, their whole menu is a lie, Marcus. He goes, I know who, I know them. They don't buy beef from us. I know where they buy their beef from. I know how they get their beef. He goes, this is my industry. This is this is what I do. And he goes, everything that's on their menu is a total lie. Total lie. The prime, the local, and the grass fed. All a lie. And he goes, he goes, I can't say anything because I'm friendly with them and I own a meat company. I don't I don't want to be the ones, you know, so I just leave it alone. He goes, this restaurant is a big buzz. Big buzz, it's busy, people love it, and everybody's getting getting misled and misled going into there. And he goes, It's such a shame. I said, Yeah, it's such a shame. So when you go to a place that says you're doing this, ask for the specific farm that they're using. Because once you start asking, what farm is that from? Like I just read to you everything right now on off these off these lists. It tells me what farm it's available from. I can tell you what farm everything comes from. 
pure transparency in our menu. Um, it tells you, so the restaurant too should be able to tell you exactly what farm it comes from. It's a little confusing um, when you, um, like Hudson Valley Cattle Company, which is from Kagan Meats. Um, it's a little confusing when you, when, you, when you start talking with them on theirs um, because they source from different farms and some of the farms, that's how it used to be. Um, used, some of the stuff used to come down as far as Delaware, I believe, and it was labeled Hudson Valley Cattle. Um, so some restaurants are using this Hudson Valley Cattle Company. Um, and really, it's basically, it was at one point, I don't know anymore, I haven't spoken to them in a couple of years, but at one point when they were trying to sell it to me, I was like, well, I want local. If it's called Hudson Valley Cattle Company, I want local cattle. And he says, well, we're going, we're sourcing from a Mennonite farm in Pennsylvania and in Delaware or wherever, Virginia, we're sourcing from there, most of it. So when the one farm used to process up here in Stone Ridge, I used to get that because that's what I had wanted. I wanted local beef. If you're calling something Hudson Valley Cattle Company, it should be local. So some restaurants will list Hudson Valley Cattle Company. Like I said several years ago, it was not all local. A very small portion of it was local. I don't know if they've changed that, um, but there is enough beef out there. So specifically ask questions. If you go to a restaurant that says Hudson Valley Cattle Company, ask the chef, what, what farm is it coming from? Where is it being processed? This is the one thing that you can always always look for things like where is it processed? Like Pineland Farms. Pineland Farms come from Maine. They might call it a local beef, um, but when you look at the processing of it, it can literally, it comes from, you know, a plant in Western Pennsylvania because the farms, there's 500 farms you're contracting from that go all the way from Maine to the original farm to the, to the banks of the Mississippi and down into Virginia. So it does get a little confusing, but people think that it's main local in a sense it's not. So some brands like, so for example, Hudson Valley Cattle Company is a brand. It's a brand of beef. It's not a farm. And brands of beef will reach out or brands of these companies will reach out and grab to as much as they can to fulfill their brand, not specifically that small area that it's coming from. So always, 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 always ask about the farm when you go. And uh, remember, eat local, Hudson Valley. We have a lot of stuff here to offer. Um, I didn't mention foie gras, but foie gras is from here. It was not on any of my lists here. Um, that's a local a local thing. Duck, of course, is local. Um, and what I just read you was the tip of the iceberg of really what's truly available in the Hudson Valley, in the greater Hudson Valley. There is a ton of stuff. We had a challenge a couple of years ago to have every single one of our plates year round at least have one local component and we had reached that goal. And I just have to make sure that everything is still like that. But everything, one thing on all of our plates typically is there's one item that we can say truly is from the Hudson Valley. That was our philosophy as of a couple of years ago. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Log on to our website, aromatimebistro.com. Uh, we were just voted, uh, just awarded best farm to table restaurant from Lux Life Magazine, which is a very cool honor to have. They come out of uh, the UK. So out of the UK, they gave us best New York state farm to table restaurant. And we really appreciate that award. And of course, we try to live up to it. Even without the award, we try to live up to it. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. And until the next video.